Everything we see around us is the result of a centuries-old process of evolution. It's changed the nature and our bodies. But what if evolution had suddenly stopped or had advanced much slower than we're used to? Let's try to figure out what people would turn into then. So, let's take a short journey through time. This is how our ancestors looked about 150,000 years ago. In fact, some scientists consider Neanderthals a subspecies of Homo sapiens. Others consider it a separate species of the genus Homo. That is, they aren't like our direct ancestors, but a kind of ancient uncle. And they looked, well, a little bit different. Since then, we clearly had less hair. A little later, there were Cro-Magnons, and they had clearly visible human traits. In terms of appearance and physical development, these guys are in fact almost no different from you and me. Only races didn't exist then. And yet millions of years left their traces. We've changed, and we are continuing to change. Yes, even right now. You don't feel it, but evolution doesn't stop for a second. If you look at ancient people, the first thing that catches your eye is their thick eyebrows and large brow arcs. This isn't a coincidence. One of the functions of the eyebrows is to protect the eyes from excess moisture, such as sweat flowing down the forehead or rain. In addition, some scientists believe that the clearly marked eyebrows protected people's ancestors from predators at night. We don't know. Maybe it was too creepy. However, recent studies show that people's eyebrows evolved as a means of communication. Yes, it seems to be their main function. With the development of intelligence, people got a smooth forehead with visible hairy eyebrows capable of performing various movements. Through these movements, we, like our ancestors, can express a variety of emotions, including recognition and sympathy, or something else. That's why it's believed that animals don't have eyebrows, well, in a way that humans have them. Although, of course, this is not the only difference. If you look at the modern humanoid monkeys, you will notice that our ears, though similar, are still very different. All because there's no need to constantly listen to nature. Without it, our ears noticeably shrunk and pressed harder against the skull. By the way, the shape of the ear has the greatest influence on how a person hears. Since we are born with only one pair of ears and can't change them like teeth, we get used to the sounds that the ears deliver to the brain. The structure of the oracle is individual for each person, and the brain is perfectly adapted to it. This means that if you decide to change the shape of the ear, the rest of the body will need time to adjust itself. For some time, you won't understand whether the sound comes from above or below. Even silicone pads can fool the brain that's used to other conditions. By the way, unlike most animals, people practically can't move their ears. And if they can, it's only for fun. It's cool if you can do such a trick. But we lost the ability to turn the ears in different directions for a reason. According to one version, it happened because our ancestors just didn't have any natural enemies left. In other words, they found themselves at the top of the food chain where you don't have to constantly think that someone can eat your lunch by attacking from above. Of course, there were all sorts of wolves, bears, and predatory cats, but none of them dragged our ancestors to their cave. But there is one mystery that can't be solved. If human ears are such a cool evolutionary mechanism, how does it turn out that everything said by the teacher goes into one ear and out the other? And this is Tip O'Neill. He was doing pretty well with learning because Mr. O'Neill was a congressman. You can call him a pretty friendly guy who liked to say hello to everyone and shake their hands using one clever trick. O'Neill not only shook a man's hand, but also asked, how's your back? Needless to say, almost everyone thought after such a trick that the congressman was so cool that he remembers the person and his problems. But Tip didn't remember anybody, he just knew that all adults' backs hurt. Every adult has a backache. My back hurts, my legs ache. Somewhere over here, we should have inserted a lecture about the dangers of a sedentary lifestyle and the need to exercise. However, back problems are not related to this at all. We should thank evolution for them, because it was evolution that gave humans the ability to walk upright. Scientists are still not sure why our distant ancestors began to walk on two legs. Maybe it allowed us to save energy. Maybe it freed up our hands, or maybe it was just hot. And if you walk upright, it doesn't seem to be as hot anymore. But the main thing is that this way of movement has much more disadvantages than advantages. Joint diseases, spinal diseases, hypertension, varicose veins, and many other exclusively human problems. Animals don't have these problems because their bodies are perfectly balanced, and we can't say the same about a human's body. Our spine can serve us for about 40 years and then only to a very caring owner. Then it will start to fail away. 
no thanks to you, evolution. It's no secret that our closest relatives are monkeys, but if you look at their hind legs, you can see how different they are. And the answer is walking upright. When our ancestors stood on two legs, they needed a stable support. Scientists, by the way, still don't know exactly what caused this change. Maybe the ancient people needed to look around in high grass, or maybe they needed to free the front limbs for various objects. All four paws of the great apes look about the same, and are used to move around the trees. In memory of this, people have a little Easter egg left. If you put your finger under the toes of a newborn baby, she will grasp it, just like primate babies who have to cling to their mothers in order not to crash. But even our hands are different from the monkey's front limbs. You probably think that we're evolved a lot, but no. Scientists believe that human hands are more primitive. We have a relatively long thumb and the rest are shorter, which makes it easy to grab objects. On the other hand, chimpanzees' fingers are ideal for swinging on trees. It would seem that evolution should go from trees to poking at icons on a smartphone screen. But no, our hand is more ancient than a chimpanzee's. That's strange. But why have we started to look like this over time? Our appearance is the result of an incredible number of random events and mutations. If we rewind time and change anything, there's no guarantee that mankind won't go the other way. Maybe the world will be ruled by, I don't know, maybe snakes. A real butterfly effect that affects the whole biological species. We can only guess what would humans become under other conditions. Or we can simulate it. So let's rewind time, make some changes. On the left is a man who has followed the same evolutionary path as each of our ancestors. But the guy on the right has gone in a different direction. It seems that he doesn't look particularly good. And it's only because we're used to seeing other human beings. First, he hasn't lost the thick hair of our ancestors. Because evolution has gone differently, natural selection has helped to preserve it. Perhaps this man lived in more severe conditions, but there's nothing left of the nails. Nature didn't consider them to be something necessary. Boy, it seems that in the world of these humans, half the beauty salons are going to go broke. Second, the ears have changed. They can still turn in different directions so that a person would ensure their safety. It's not very comfortable to wear glasses with such ears, but on the other hand, glasses aren't so important when somebody's trying to eat you. There are other problems. Third, wait, what's that strange thing in his eyes? Oh, this is the third eyelid, a special mechanism that allows some animals to moisturize the eye without blinking it. Again, in order to not accidentally become a victim of a predator. Oh, look at his fingers. Yep, monkey fingers. With fingers like that, it's going to be hard to hold a smartphone. I guess large models are designed for this guy. But he'll need to do something about the clothes. The skeleton of a man who hasn't started walking on two legs isn't particularly adapted to jeans, and he won't need sneakers either. Most likely, this person's voice box would also have developed differently, but this doesn't mean that we, ordinary modern people, couldn't communicate with them. After all, the Cro-Magnon lived with the Neanderthals for a while, but it's unlikely that such people would have been able to fit into our world. Perhaps they wouldn't have understood at all what was happening. But you know? We wouldn't judge them. After all, who really understands what's happening? And by the way, here's another important point that we forgot to mention. Because of such changes in evolution, the human immune system would also change. In all the years of existence, people have suffered hundreds of different epidemics and pandemics. Plague, smallpox, cholera, influenza, and these are only the most famous diseases that have taken thousands, if not millions, of lives. Ancient people had their own epidemics, which could only be guessed about. Only the most resistant ones survived. But if evolution had gone any other way, would our hypothetical ancestors have even been able to cope with such diseases? Well, let's hope for the best. Evolution has given us many amazing things. Thanks to it, we've become ourselves and achieved all this. Wow. But it's thanks to evolution that you're watching this video right now. And it goes on. Right now, there are invisible processes that will change our distant descendants in the future. We can only hope that evolution will give them a couple of pleasant surprises. For example, it'll remove hangnails, and that feeling when you want to sneeze, but you can't? Well, like this video for us to continue to evolve and write in the comments what you'd like to get rid of with the help of evolution. We'll see you later.